hi guys and welcome to yet another very exciting video tutorial of adobe premiere pro and in this tutorial we will be talking a very cool and very very powerful and popular effect that is called the dissolve effect and dissolve effect is probably one of the most uh, used effect in premiere pro and other editing software uh, it is the smooth transition from between one clip to another clip that you do not notice that much when you watch a movie or something but it is there and it set apart a mature project from a professional one these are the small subtle things that can give your uh, project or your video clips the look that uh, a professional people are uh, most of the time hired by people to apply them so now you can apply these things on your own actually you can create uh, great looking stuff with it i have set up a small project over here it's composed of audio track and some images uh, i have used images uh, in here uh, because uh, transition between an image and another image is more apparent and the contrast is much more visible although i could have used video clips and the same transition or the same effect the dissolve effect can be used on radio trace i will show you that too in this tutorial so let's get started okay uh, once again i want to stress on the point that you are not limited to using uh, images you can use this uh, effect on video clips as you like it okay to apply this effect uh, you come to an, an edge of a video clip or an image that you want the effect to be applied and then click on it once with the mouse and then con uh, on your keyboard it control d control plus d and the effect is applied now this is the effect that is applied and now you can increase the size of this effect and also decrease the size of this effect First of all, let us increase the size of this effect and then see how it transition from dark into the picture. Okay, let's play it. Okay, like that. Okay, play it once more. Okay, like that. Okay, the size of the, you know, transition is a bit little big and time is also a little big. Uh, by the way, you can change uh, its uh, default values by going into preferences and then into general settings and you can find it uh, in there and uh, change uh, the effects uh, general settings uh, of uh, transition from one clip to another. To apply this effect to all of your clips, select all of them in your timeline and then hit Ctrl D on the keyboard and then the effect is applied to all of them now notice this uh, end uh, area of this clip and the beginning area of this clip the clips or the transition over here are a little longer than this one in the middle actually they are of the same size but half of them is in one clip photo and half of them is in the other one now let's see how this effect applies actually i'm gonna hit tilde key on the keyboard and see it full size so you can better judge the transition between two photos so let's play it okay perfect you guys have might have seen these effects uh, people create uh, uh, you know screen savers video from their own pictures of pictures of their family and friends and then put it uh, inside uh, their computer and when they are not uh, you know working on the computer the screen saver comes up and they transition smoothly between pictures like these or their own pictures you can also do this actually a lot of people online pays a lot of money of, and ask people to create you know screen savers or pictures or moving clips that can transition from one thing this is a very really good uh, effect or thing that you can learn and add to your repertoire of adobe premiere pro skills now i told you that you can also apply this uh, uh, effect to uh, 
audio clips or audio tracks. Uh, the basic principle is the same you come to the side uh, of the audio clip that you want to apply this to and then click on it uh, once with the mouse and then right click on it again and then uh, choose this option which says apply default transition and then it will um, apply the dissolve transition here it also smoothing smooths out the audio that starts you know the audio if it is allowed or uh, abrupt music or dialogues it starts slowly and then uh, uh, slow slowly but surely it uh, fades in and uh, develops into its full peak okay i'm going to increase the size of this so you can hear the transition between the smooth uh, uh, the slow and the low volume of the audio track and then as it picks up and the dissolve uh, effect takes its, its effect so let's play it okay let's increase the size a little bit more okay let's start this from the beginning again as you can see it sounds so much better uh, from the beginning it starts slowly and then it began to pick up now without this effect it would have been uh, you know louder from the beginning which we do not have sounded uh, great uh, at all uh, if you have heard any of course you have heard the albums if you have ever noticed in albums or any song or any music the music does not start at the highest level ever it starts from the low level and then gradually builds up so that's it in this tutorial we learned in this tutorial how to apply and use dissolve effect and what dissolve effect does to your audio or video tracks and how you can use them in your own projects i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and i will see you in the next tutorial in which there are some more tricks that can be done with the dissolve effect so i hope to see you in the next tutorial goodbye for now